Walking Dead Season 5, episode... I don't remember. Remember, huh? See what I did there? Uh, molding into a new lifestyle proves difficult for the group. <sighs> um, what happens? So basically, the way this episode started, pretty much how the episode ended, but without the kids running around and playing like Rick Hurd at least. Um, they all get interviewed, they sit down in a room, they meet the woman in charge of the town. She's kind of like a mayor. I would call her a mayor. Um, turns out she was a congresswoman, never just a politician. Um, she asks everybody, like, what'd you do before? And Rick's like, what's that got to do with anything? She tells a story about how her husband built up the walls and because that's what he used to do, so it matters what you did before. And then, basically, they just go back and forth, and blah, 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 blah. And this is where I think The Walking Dead messed up pretty bad, um, in my opinion, at least. Uh, so you got Daryl. Daryl gets interviewed, and they barely show him for 30 seconds. And he doesn't really say nothing. He's just digging through the junk on the table and she's like you could sit down and that's it so what do I think that's a mistake well there was not in the comic book almost everybody else in the group is in the comic book minus two people Noah and Tara they're in the comic book everybody else is though so you got Daryl who is a mystery don't know his backstory Move on. It's pretty much what they did. Um, so then what happens? They all sleep in one house together because they give them two right next to each other. Uh, they take all their weapons. Um, everybody in the community seems nice. Uh, Rick's beard either grows super fast or super slow because uh, they showed a commercial, which is a weird thing. AMC does to show a commercial of previous seasons, like scenes from previous seasons, and they showed Rick when his beard's kind of like the same like the mine is, you see, oh it's a little bushy, and um, but he's talking to the governor right before the governor chopped off Herschel's head, and then his beard's out to like here, when he's cutting it with the trimmer and then shaving it, and then... <sighs> A few scenes later, he's got stubble growing out of his face. And, um, so he either grows super fast or super slow, or I don't know. Um, Daryl never showers, everybody else showered. They're all just hanging out in the houses. Um, they go out and explore, because that's what they told him to do. Uh, the woman Jesse cut, um, Rick's hair. Because that's what she used to do. She has two kids. Uh, they meet Carl. And um, Carl talks to the two dudes and one girl. And the one girl don't really say nothing. And then the other two are like, oh, you want to play some video games? This dude's got a pool table at his house. And his dad's real strict about it. And the guy's like, he's not home. Yeah, so it's like Carl's hanging out with the cool kids. Right on. Um, they got school. A little kids go in the morning, they go in the afternoon. Um, the weird girl climbs over the wall at one point, and um, Carl follow follows her. Uh, Rick goes outside to like walk around the, the walls, I guess. I don't know. Um, he loses the girl. Zombie comes out, Rick pulls out the gun they gave him, and he's like, hmm puts it back and then goes to where the blender was and opens the blender and there's no gun in it. Ah, my theory is that girl got a gun and you know, shoot your eye kid. Um, that's what I think. Um, they're gonna give Michonne and Rick a job. There, there we go at the end of the episode. He becomes a cop again. Michelle's gonna be a cop too. Um, 
Glenn, Terra, and Noah go out with two dudes to do a run, and these guys are weird. Apparently, they, <clears throat> one of a zombie bit their four other runners that were their friends. They tied it up. It got away, and now they want to kill it. Um, they're toying with it, they're blowing the whistle, the guy's holding them by the arms, the zombie, it's like gonna eat this other guy's face, uh, it gets away, um, Tara grabs it by the back and like, starts tearing its skin off, which was pretty cool, Glenn gets pissed and stabs it in the head, and then the other guy's like, what the fuck, what the hell, oh, it's good friend, bleh. and then they go back and Glenn's like pissed and they Nobody's impressed, bro. They knock it off. And then the guy swings at him. Then pops him in the face. Uh, the guy falls down. Daryl jumps on the other guy because he like, keeps the girl from goes forward. <coughs> Rick grabs Daryl and it's like, no, I'm not here because Daryl's fucking choking the guy. And then uh, the governor lady comes. Or not the governor. The mayor lady comes. Politician, whatever you want to call it. Um, and she's like, what happened here? And then, blah, blah, blah. And then um, she takes all their weapons and tells the other two that you're going to talk to me after this. And she makes Rick and Michonne constables, cops, basically. And then she thanks Glenn for not going to get his ass. And it ends. So, having read the comic book, um, I think it's going to be a long season with the epic finale, like always. Um, that's about it, though. I think some people are going to drop off because it might get a little boring for a little while. Um, stick with it, though. It gets better. It just takes a little bit. Pretty much like the... Remember the second season when they were on the farm looking for Sophia for so long? Kind of gets like that. And then it gets better, so stick with it. Watch it on Netflix for free. It comes out after... <clears throat> Once every season ends, it comes out. Not even before on DVD, it's on there. So, you know, watch it on Netflix. Or wherever you watch it. Um, thanks for watching this video. Um, what else we got coming up? Uh, the Dragon Ball Z video game, some Twitch streams, more Walking Dead next week. Um, I will get to reading that book, I promise. Um, again,